So this is a pretty interesting story. Uh, there was a CPAC speech, I believe, yesterday on Sunday, and Trump did appear at the conservative uh, convention there, and he did speak, and he said a bunch of stuff about the election, and it appears that even Fox News had aired a disclaimer during the speech saying that all of the election claims that he's making have been denied. Uh, de um, have been contested and have been denied and the main reason it appears that they're doing this is due to the potential of lawsuits and there were lawsuits that were filed like three billion dollar defamation suits that have been filed against people in court for making stuff up about the election and uh, a lot of specific claims about dominion voting systems and stuff like that and i was actually i was happy to see the defamation charges um you know a uh, civil suit brought up um, against these people because the, what they were doing were such flagrant lies. There was zero evidence whatsoever. They proved literally nothing in court and they caused so much of a ruckus, so much of a waste of re resources in every field imaginable. And so I was glad to see these defamation cases brought up because if you don't, uh, you know, uh, essentially carry out the law when it comes to defamation, they're going to continue to just make shit up. And it's going to be really damaging to our democracy, uh, you know, to our system as a whole. Um, and so that appears to be why they did it. Um, it says Fox News airs disclaimer during Trump's CPAC speech about 2020 election. Um, you can even, you can see the picture here. Um, I guess it was in Dallas, it's Fox News. It says, the voting system companies have denied the various allegations made by President Trump and his counsel regarding the 2020 election. So it's obvious why they're doing this. They're doing this to uh, prevent the lawsuits. Uh, that's why they're doing this. They don't want to be subject to these lawsuits uh, because they were actually, uh, they had a, a lawsuit filed against them that I guess is like uh, something like, what, 2.7 million? This is in April. Fox News Media filed a response to a $2.7 billion defamation lawsuit by the voting machine company Smartmatic that was filed against it for spreading Trump's false claims about the election, saying it should be dismissed. Um, and so they're making the argument that they were just the press reporting on this stuff. And so I don't know whether or not you could truly uh, even sue Fox News for something like this. Um, but it is good that they ended up uh, airing the disclaimer, of course. Uh, the people who are really, I think, going to be subject to uh, these defamation suits are a lot of the attorneys like uh, Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani are likely ones who are really going to be subject to this kind of stuff. Um, but it is pretty interesting to see even Newsmax had to do this, so they were getting hammered pretty hard. And it's really good to see, honestly, just because, again, like, watching these people just lie out of their ass and just uh, commit lots of damages to lots of stuff is uh, pretty terrible to watch. So uh, it is pretty cool that the defamation suits have at least, uh, at least done something.